Well, I came to fit this new kickstart I've got on this uh, plunger model. I've had it for a while and I can't really remember where it came from. Probably an eBay item. But I've got a whole bunch of cotter pins and not one of them will tighten up on it. And I've come to the conclusion that it, it's badly made and this hole in particular where the cotter pin goes. That's a brand new cotter pin I bought yesterday from the Stafford Show. Bought it from George Pru. And as you can see, it just pops right through and is, <coughs> is doing nothing. So the plan now is for me to, I'm going to make uh, an oversized cotter pin and um, I'll machine it till it's uh, a perfect fit in the hole on the kickstart and uh, just start from there. Well, there's the uh, cotter pins I've got, a whole bunch of them, and not one of them will uh, tighten up on that new kickstart so um, I'll make a new one up oversized and see how it goes. Well I've got a piece of 3 8 steel bar in the lathe in the chuck and you can see how bad that is. It's a little bit better when you put it right through but um, I'm now going to put a 10mm bar in and turn it down till I get a much better fit than that. So I'm going to turn this down so I get a nice, um, a nice tight fit <coughs> on the kickstart. Well, as you can see, that's quite a good fit now. Um, all I need to do now is uh, clean this up and just uh, cut some flats on it to make the cuts a bit. Well, I've made this oversized uh, cut pin now. I've turned down a piece of 10 mil stock to 381 which is the size I need and I've now got to mill this flat on this part of the cutter pin and I've been guessing and trial and error but I think the best way I've come up with so far is to make this little plate as you can see and it's got I've drilled and tapped it and put um, a little grub screw in there which allows me to alter the pitch of it when it's in the vise and um, I'll show you how it did that now well the first thing I needed to do is to just check that the vise is trammed in or the head is trammed in and as you can see there's um, no or very little movement 
across the width of the vise. The next thing I do is I put this little plate in I've made, which sits there nicely, and my spring to hold it in place. And then I can pop the cotter pin in. This is the one I bought from George Brew. And I'm now going to uh, set the dial test indicator across the cotter pin there. And when I run the, the bed of the mill across, you can see, apart from that little touch there, but I think that's a, something on the cotter pin, you can see there's very very little probably a thou maybe across there so i'm quite happy to mill it um, at that angle now Well that's the oversized pin I've just made, all I need to do now is uh, tap it in to see that it works okay and then recut the threads on this part here and that's the finished job hopefully. Thank mm -hmm. you. 